Daniel and I, yeah, we don't really have a relationship. We just can't find a way. I do wish it was different. And all I think we need to do is sit down and talk. Yeah, sometimes you can't help but feel like the child stuck in a messy divorce. I know that Daniel has an enduring love for both of his ex-bandmates. I think between Ben and Dan, you know, at, at, at worst, it's, it, it's throwing rocks over the fence, I think, ultimately, to get each other's attention because I think, ultimately, there is a genuine, deep-seated determination for things to be made right between them, and I think that's still very possible. It would be amazing to be in a position of reconciling collectively and maybe Dan has no interest and maybe Ben has no interest, but me, selfishly, if I could ask for one thing, I think it would be just that, just to, um, to just have that moment. From a music lover's point of view, I would love to see the three of them on stage again playing music. But you can't blame them for not doing that. I mean, people change as they get older. They started that band when they were, what, 12 years old, and now they're grown men with very different lives. I'd give them $10 million. I'd give Daniel his $10 million right now to reform, you know? People really do care about the band, and I'm talking millions of fans worldwide. Um, still love the band and love the music. In my mind, Silverchair is done. That moment, that, that part of my life is finished. And that's okay. It was an amazing experience and I'll cherish it forever.